Hi guys, it's Mika Javier. Welcome back to my channel. So a lot of people always comment or come at me with questions like, how do you do your hair? Did you do that hair yourself? And yes, I do love using a hairstylist whenever I do have to get glammed up for a performance or an event, but on a regular, I do my own hair. And for this video, I wanted to show you guys two styles that are my go-to hairstyles for 2020. The first is a straight lob. If you guys don't know what lob is, long bob. My hair is a little too long for it to be called a bob, but not long enough for it to be really long and voluminous. I'm gonna show you how I do it with layered hair, um, how I will make my layered hair look like a lob. And then from there, I'm gonna show you guys my go-to beach wave, messy, loose curl hair look. So without further ado, here we go. <laughs> hair ties and clips to hold my hair in place and lastly hair extensions okay first I'm gonna section my hair put half of it up like so and then I'm just gonna straighten everything from bottom up I use a brush because sometimes this gets too hot and I can't touch my hair. So just have a comb or brush handy in case you need to touch your hair in the process. If you're not used to this, prepare to have really sore arms after. Because <laughs> sometimes because you constantly holding things up like that. It's a good workout though. <laughs> Is it straight? <laughs> straight na ba? Ready na. Okay, so now that I've run through my entire head with a flat iron, I can do it for the extensions now. So I've used this before. I actually bought this recently from Linnell's. So if you guys need hair extensions, Linnell's has you, has got you. Okay, so I'm done straightening out all the extension clips. I'm gonna start clipping them in now. And because I only want my extensions in the front, I'm gonna try to get it as close to the top as possible. So the lowest clip would be about here. And I'm just gonna layer the three, one, two, three, like that. Take a small layer down, second layer on, as close as I can to the root. But this is the first look that I wanted to show you guys that I like to do. Straight hair, mid part, long bob. Okay, so now that I'm done with my straight hair mid part, I'm gonna go right into doing my loose, wavy, curl, messy, what? What's it called? The loose, the loose wave effortless look because we don't want it to be too curly and too glamorous and too done up. So I'm gonna try to do this with a curling iron. I randomly select pieces starting from the back like this. Brush it out, take the curling iron, and start from the top, and make sure that it bends ever so slightly. 
And the curling iron is hot, so you don't want to leave it on for too long. And then I, I kind of loosen the handle as I go down the strands, like so. And so you can kind of see a soft bend in my hair. Okay, I'm almost done. This is my last strand. If I see any other areas where I feel like it could use a little more bend, then I just go back in. But I think for now, this is perfect for what I wanted to achieve. Um, so what I do is I just move everything loose like this so that it breaks apart any curls that are too tight and it gives me this like effortless beachy loose wave kind of hair so the trick is wag kayong manggigigil sa curling iron when you feel like you know it's been like 5 seconds on your hair slide it down slide it down slide it down until the end so that you can achieve this like effortless curl. So I take it from here, from the top. This is where I spend the most time with the iron. It's so like maybe five seconds, and then slide it down, slide it down, and then take it off. So at least your ends aren't super culot, super curled, and it just gives your hair that volume. And then sometimes if my hair needs it, I take sea salt spray or a texturizing hairspray. One of my favorites to use right now is this Way Wave Spray. It's like a sea salt spray texturizing spray. So I just take, I shake it up and then I take my hair up like this and spray underneath closer to the roots. And then you kind of scrunch it up like this so it becomes more textured and volumized. And really, that's all you need. So it's pretty easy, right? Looks easy. If you try it, sometimes it takes, there's a little learning curve where you have to know how to hold your barrel and hold your hair up so that it, it curls properly. But if you guys want to try this at home, I'm pretty sure you guys will get good really fast. It'll take you maybe one or two tries and then you, you can say that you're an expert. Okay, that's it for this video. If you guys liked it, leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!